Thank you. I had to put something on back here, obviously, for this wonderful film. And congratulations for us getting to see your uh, your full vision for this film, finally. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Congratulations to all of you guys. You made it all happen. Absolutely. I, I think it's interesting. Have you, being part of this film, taken a step back and seen the revolution of the Snyder Cut, this film industry, you know, this film change made by fans? Have you had a time to appreciate that? Yeah, I mean, I think I appreciate it every day, you know, when you, you know, I find it always very, I find it very satisfying and to, to speak to the fans, you know, and obviously I've been, I've supported Zach from the very beginning. So, you know, to actually see that come true and, you know, to, to see what that movement has achieved, uh, not only with actually getting us the Zack Snyder cut, but also, you know, the light that has shown onto um, suicide prevention and, and all of those things, you know, I think it's, it's, it's a massive, huge thing. And, I, and I'm very grateful for all of it. It's wonderful to see. I've been a fan of Zach for a while, so it's nice to see. Now, speaking to you and your amazing visuals, what inspires the cinematography? Is there films growing up that you loved, the, the visuals from that kind of you bring into your work now? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I've always loved movies from when I was a really young kid, and, and I still love movies more than anything else. I think it's an amazing art form and I, I love visuals and photographs and art and paintings, drawings, all of that. So you kind of draw your, you know, your, your inspiration from everything and something like this, obviously for me, it was a dream come true to work with Zach, you know, someone who's such an established uh, visual creative mm. uh, director, you know, and also to work on a movie like this, which, you know, has these amazing comic books as a, as a um, sort of base, you know, uh, those comic books are amazing visually. So to, to, to do a film like that uh, was an incredible experience. Did you take anything from comic books or do you like to kind of create your visuals on your own? I kind of like to create my visuals on my own, but sure, we, you know, I looked at a lot of comic books. Um, I spoke a lot to Zach about it. You know, Zach is like, I don't know anyone who knows this universe better than Zach. He's mm -hmm. he he loves it and he knows it in so much detail. It's uh, incredible to speak to him and really like kind of you know he's got this very affecting kind of way of talking about it. He's so in love with it, so it, it's incredible to 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 talk to him about that. And so you know, it, it came from a lot of different aspects. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you kind of lead me into my next question perfectly there. Working with a director and a director of photography, you know, that bond is very important. Do you feel you speak Zack Snyder's cinematic language? Was there moments where he would say something crazy and you're like, I know exactly what you want? I, I think we did, and I, and I hope, I surely hope, I hope we did. You know, I think we had a great relationship. And, you know, I was very... I mean, I'm not sure whether nervous is the right word, but you know, you know, I've always respected Zach hugely for uh, as a director, and also I've always loved uh, Larry Fong, who's obviously his usual mm -hmm. cinematographer and an amazing VP, and and so uh, you know, it was quite a daunting task in the beginning to step into Larry's shoes, but obviously also something that I really cherished and um, you know challenged me, and so. Um, yeah, I think, you know, we had quite a few moments where, you know, Zach is a, one of those directors, well, he's a very rare person, I think, in the sense that he's very creative, very visual, obviously, as we all know, um, he's also a super nice guy. Yeah. And so on the one hand, you've got this guy who's like, you know, he knows exactly what he wants, and then he's got the other side, which, you know, he's completely open to all my ideas, and he was listening to all my ideas, and he was very... You know, so we, I think we, we had a great sort of rapport there. So that was really enjoyable from my point of view. And uh, yeah, we had a few moments. Sure, there was quite a few where, you know, for example, at the famous 360, where he said, hey, how about we do something crazy like this? And then, you know, we talked about it and then it kind of became crazier and crazier and crazier. <laughs> so, you know, that was really cool. And that's something that only happens with a few people. And, and Zach is certainly one of them. 
Well, I can definitely say the the bonds there. I think you carry Larry's work well, but still put your own stamp on it. It it feels to be in the same universe, but there's still your style to it because I've enjoyed your work from like Game of Thrones and stuff. So you have a visual style that I think you bring out very well here. That's very nice. Uh, that's that's uh, that's kind of what I was hoping to do is you know pay homage to to Zach and and, and Larry's films and sort of give it my own little stamp yeah that's nice you mentioned that 360 shot is there any other shots or sequences that you personally really enjoyed like i love how you handle superman you make him feel so powerful with the cinematography that those low shots but he doesn't feel like a dictator he still feels so powerful so is there a a shot or sequence that stands out for you minus that beautiful 360. I think there's probably too many to mention. Like, you know, <laughs> I enjoyed shooting all of those characters so much, you know, and giving all of those characters a slightly different style. Uh, you know, I loved obviously the Batman on the gargoyle shot was one of my favorite sets, you know, the bat light. I love that. Um, so that, yeah, there were so many moments I think. So hard to really, hard to, hard to pick one. Yeah, I'm sure other cinematographers may be jealous of you because you got to make so many mini movies in here. There was so many like your styles changed from Cyborg to Wonder Woman to Batman. So I was just like, God, you kind of nailed all of them. So applause to you, I think. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, the, is there a character though that you specifically gravitated towards that you felt really matched your style? Was it Batman? Because you really did nail that gargoyle shot. I think, um, I mean, you know, I've always loved comic books when I was younger and, and still do, but I never was into them like, mm -hmm. like hugely. Um, but, but I always like from all of the characters back in the day, Batman was one of my favorite one. Yeah. And so I think I think that to me really stood out. But the one character that I actually knew the least about was Cyborg before mm -hmm. we started filming. And I kind of got to know that character a lot more and Ray too. And so we, I, I really enjoyed that kind of getting to know that character and learning more about his, his backstory and all of that. That was really cool. And I think he's a really cool character. Oh, he is the, the biggest positive from this film. The biggest difference from version Cyborg is the heart and soul of this film, which I think Slack has spoke about. So yes. Uh, so kind of my final question for you is I know you've worked on you, you can conjure up an epic from TV to films. You know how to do something big. Do you handle those differently though? Do you go into your TV productions different than your film productions? Because I love your work on Overlord as well, so. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, to be honest, I don't think I do. I think I, I, I try and go into every thing, whether it's big or small or TV or film with the same approach and the same attitude, you know, uh, hopefully. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think there's a, it, it always scares me because I feel like, God, is there something different between, you know, between tackling them? So it seems like you handle them well. I want to say thank you so much for speaking with me today about this wonderful film and your wonderful career. So thank you again. Thank you, Richard. No problem.